Welcome to this month's episode of Derby Academy. I'm Ronnie Drystop, Manager of Education Services here at the Kentucky Derby Museum, and we're about six weeks away from the big day. They're going to run that horse race for the 143rd year in a row here at Churchill Downs. We're starting to get very excited, and you know the Derby's a great sporting event for a lot of people. Uh, we want to know which three-year-old thoroughbred is the fastest this year at that distance of a mile and a quarter. The Derby's also a great cultural event. Uh, 143 years of running the Derby means lots of stories, traditions, and legends. But this, uh, this month's episode of Derby Academy, we're going to be talking about money, the economics of the Kentucky Derby. And we're going to actually be focusing on how much money is being spent here in our local community, all because of a horse race that only lasts two minutes. Welcome to another edition of Derby Academy's Game Show. We're talking economics in the Derby today. I'm your host, Ronnie Drystott here. And today we are joined by folks from Michigan. And what's your name? Bethany. Bethany and? Cheyenne. Cheyenne. Well, good luck because you two, what you've got to do is you have to take all of these ways people spend money on Derby Day and you've got to put them in the proper order, going from highest to lowest. Okay? Highest to lowest. Uh, what do you think they spend most of their money on? They're shopping. Hi, my name is Jenny Fannensteel, and I'm the owner and master milliner of Forme Millinery. Well, um, welcome to Derby Academy, and uh, we're delighted to be here uh, today in a millinery. Tell us what millinery is. Yes, well, millinery is the process of hat making. So I'm a milliner, someone who makes hats from scratch. Wonderful, yeah. wonderful, and of course, Derby Day. Yes. Uh, one of the great traditions of Derby Day is, okay. is the hat. Uh, so would you be in the hat business if, uh, if there was no Derby? So I am a year-round hat shop. Mm -hmm. I make hats for all seasons and occasions. Okay. Uh, you know, Derby is obviously a very busy time because mm -hmm. there's a lot of people getting hats in a short period of time. Mm -hmm. uh, but I make winter hats. Um, I do a, a big collection for winter um, from all over the world. What about... Um, you know, we associate Derby Day and the hats with the with the ladies, but of course, men like to wear hats too. Do you design men hats? I do. I do. I make hats for men, women, and children. Wonderful. Ooh, look at they that. They don't fit them. But <laughs> <laughs> we will test it out. Oh, cool. Hotels. Hotels in third place, right? Okay, good. Now what? Yeah, we're standing now. Um, off the lobby at the Golf House in downtown Louisville, one of the premier hotels in Louisville, especially around Derby time. And standing next to me is Miss Rita Reedy, and uh, she works here at the Golf House in sales. And uh, Rita, tell us a little bit about Derby time. Oh my gosh, Derby time is so exciting at the hotel. We have a full hotel, 1,300 rooms, and guests that are so excited because this is a bucket list. Mm -hmm. And the energy at the hotel is it escalated a thousand times. Yeah. And then we add a lot of activities. We have a call to the post party, which is a welcome reception for our guests with a jazz band or a bluegrass band. And there's usually a photo off wall, so everybody's taking photos. And uh, in the past, we've done a life-size chocolate horse. Oh wow! And everybody <laughs> likes to get their picture taken in front of them. Talk to me a, a, a little bit about the economic impact that the Derby has on this hotel. Uh, yeah, it's big. I consider, we consider Derby kind of our Christmas. Um, and it's really called supply versus demand. And uh, the demand for hotel rooms is um, greater than the supply. Right. Food and drink. Food and drink. Food and drink. Okay, you're right there between, between hotels. All right. Next. Okay, we're on uh, 4th Street in downtown Louisville, uh, where it all happens uh, around Derby time, and we're at Sicilian Pizza on 4th Street. And I'm standing with the uh, uh, owner, uh, Jeff Koppel. Jeff, uh, thanks for coming on Derby Academy today. Tell us a little bit about Derby time uh, down downtown here. Well, uh, Derby time is a very special time, uh, not only for the state, but especially here in Louisville. Uh, we see a major increase in business during really the three weeks prior to Derby with lots of visitors coming in, starting with Thunder over Louisville, the Chow Wagon, and then the big weekend where you have Thurby and Oaks Day and then Derby Day. Um, Derby week, how many hours do you think you're putting in? Oh, wow. Uh, 
gosh, yeah, I would say at least probably 60 to 65, maybe more. Because not only uh, does Derby bring all the extra in too, Derby has other businesses around us with extra stuff. Right. Like Palace Theaters next door, they're going to have VIP events. Impact from that also. So it's a very busy time, but it's also a very fun time. Uh, the street is bustling. It looks like really big time city yeah. uh, with all the tourism going on. You've got the uh, bourbon activities going on on Main Street and at Fourth Street Live. Uh, our edibles located next door to us. They get a lot of traffic too for tourism. And, uh, we do our local pizzas, the bourbon pizza, the hot brown pizza. So a lot of tourists in town for the Derby yeah. will come and try us out for that. Awesome. Okay, um, let's take a minute. I need you all to take a look at what we have. Do you want to leave it the same or do you want to change it? Because I'm going to go ahead and tell you, they're all wrong. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to leave it? You don't believe me, huh? <laughs> okay, so shopping right there. How much are people spending on shopping? Oh. <laughs> They are spending $31 million on shopping. And by the way, we're talking, this is the Thursday through Sunday of Derby Week. Okay, so we're talking four days. Shopping, $31 million. You said transportation. They're spending how much in transportation? $7 million. So, so far, so good, right? So the next one has to be less than $7 million to keep you, uh, to keep you on pace. Hotels. Ooh, $40 million. $40 million. Arrgh, sorry, you're wrong. Okay. Food and drinks next. 29 million. All right. Churchill Downs. Boom. 95 million dollars at Churchill. And other entertainment is 25. So let's put them in the proper order. Churchill Downs, come on down this way. Hotel, you're in second place. 40 million dollars right there in hotel. Um, shopping is at 31. Food and drink, 29. That tells you people would rather shop than eat, right? <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, other entertainment, $25 million. And last but not least, transportation at $7 million. Guys, when you add up all of these numbers, add them all up, that's $227 million. One thing you have to remember when you're talking about people spending money at the, at the Kentucky Derby and here in town, Derby Week, is that money does not just sit in a cash register. That money is going to start to circulate and be respent over and over and over. And every time that money is spent, more money is added to it. It's almost like a snowball going down a hill. So although the, the direct spending is only about $227 million, which is a lot of money, that money is going to grow and grow and grow as it's recirculated throughout the economy. But there's more. Because the Derby is not just four days, the Derby actually, Derby season really kicks off two weeks before the big race with what's called Thunder Over Louisville. And it's the largest fireworks show in the world. About a half a million people line up on both sides of the Ohio River to watch fireworks. And that kicks off the Derby Festival. The Derby Festival is going to generate another about $127 million in economic impact. Be sure to join us next month in May, which is Derby season for the next episode of Derby Academy. We look forward to seeing you.